So around about that time, my uh, son decided to come and live with me just at the end of the divorce. He was eight years old. And my daughter, uh, Cara Katrina, she, um, she was then four. Um, she stayed at the time with my uh, ex-wife, with Laura. Ironically, I was kind of closer to Cara because she was um, six months old when I stopped working. So I was with her every day. The last time I ever saw her was um, July the 1st, 2006. About uh, just 12 days before I got extradited, she came and stayed with me again. When I took her home, we were in a taxi and she said to me, uh, Daddy, I have to live with Mummy because you've got Callum and she needs to have me um, because that would be fair. That's only fair. And she also mentioned the fact that there was some guy called Abdul um, that Mummy might be living with, right? Which, you know, it's fine, but you know, you want to know who he is and what he's like and so on. The worst moment was Callum, my son, the night before I left. Um, he, we only had about six days notice and I had to try and find, um, you know, who would look after him in the end. My night before I was leaving, I was leaving at four in the morning. He, um, I took him up to his, um, to his, to his bedroom and he just, you know, started crying. You know, it was just extremely difficult um, because he was so upset and he was shaking and, uh, you know, he was worried about what was going to happen to him. I don't, I don't think there's anything worse you can do to, to, to me, to a parent, than, than, than take away your ability to, to look after your own children. You know, I think it's just a, it's a very big step to do that to someone, to, to take that off them. And, you know, at that stage, in law, I was an innocent man, you know, why? But I'm already getting the single most important thing taken from me. And I knew that the extradition thing would take a long time. I knew that, um, I, I didn't believe for one minute they would try us in 36 days, whatever the Constitution says and all that nonsense. It wasn't going to happen. It's a complex case where all the evidence and all the witnesses were in London. So what chance was there they were going to do it any time soon? So that was very difficult and then, um, Three or four days after I got here, he called me, he was very, very upset and, you know, we talked about it and I said to him, are you angry with me? And he said, yes. And I said, well, that's good, you've got to tell me. You promised me you wouldn't go, you promised me you would win and... And by that stage, I'm here, so, you know, it's just hard, you know, it's just... Just even now, talking about it, thinking about it, it's just very, very painful, very difficult.